Spending time with Jesus was great fun. You never knew what was going to happen next. We've been on the mountainside, 5,000 people, well, 5,000 men, we said, and uh, the crowd were hungry. And uh, Jesus said, give them something to eat. He said, give them to eat. We've got nothing here. We're miles from the shops. The little lad there, he got five loaves and two fishes. And Jesus prayed and he said, deliver it out. So he broke it up and we took it around, this group of people, thinking this ain't going to pass very long. But we kept going and going and the fish kept going and the bread kept going. And in the end, Jesus said, pick up what's left. And we did, and there were 12 baskets left over. It was amazing. Jesus was a very, very special person. But then he turned around to us, his disciples, and said, off you go on the boat. He said, I'll, 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 I'll get rid of the crowd. So we did what we were told. We went down, we got on the boat and saw it by the side of Galilee. And we were talking about that miracle. How did Jesus do it? <laughs> it was just a mir miracle. Five loaves and two fishes feeding so many people. You know, when we got out in, in the middle of the, the, the lake, it was a bit tough going. The wind was against us and uh, we were a bit tired. And uh, it was about, I don't know, three o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then I seen somebody walking on the water. And I thought it was a ghost. And I cried out in fear, look, it's a ghost. And Jesus said, don't be afraid. It's me. And I said, Lord, Lord if it's you, tell me to come to you. And now I've got a choice. Jesus said, come, and I've got a choice to make. Did I go or did, did I stay? Uh, and so I looked at Jesus in the eye and he said, come. So I said, okay. So I kind of stepped out of the boat. And I started walking on the water. I was walking on the water towards Jesus. And then I heard the wind and I saw the waves and I looked and I started to sink. And I said, Lord, save me. And he reached out his hand and he picked me up. And we went back to the boat. When we got back in the boat, the wind stopped, the wave stopped. And he said, oh, you of little faith. I got faith in Jesus, but not that much, because when I saw things going on around about me, I was a bit scared. And, you know, life can be like that. Jesus calls us, and we can get in, out of the boat, and we can do things, but then sometimes our faith might waver a little. But Jesus doesn't let go of us. He's always there for us. And I often think, thinking back on that situation, what about the others that were in the boat? Why didn't they get out? Why didn't they walk on the water like I did? But I felt a bit of a failure. But you know, to Jesus, even when we fail, he lifts us up. Even when we make mistakes, he encourages us to keep going. And of all those people that were in that boat, all of us, apart from one, decided to follow Jesus and give our life to him. And we put our faith and our trust in him because of what we'd seen him do and who he said he was, the son of God. And we thought that he was going to be a brilliant leader. He was going to be a brilliant deliverer. He was one that was going to save us from the oppression of the Romans. But not too long later, they took him and they put him on a cross. He told us about it, but we didn't understand it. They put him on a cross and we went there and we saw him. I'd said I'd stand up for him, but <laughs> when push came to shove, I couldn't. In fact, I let him down so bad, I actually went out and cried so much, broke my heart that I'd let him down just when he needed me most. But then we seen him die on the cross, and they took him and they put him in that tomb. And we thought, that's it. He's blown it. I've let him down. I can't really go on anymore. But, you know, we went back to fishing. And while we were fishing, we saw this man on the seashore. And I recognized it was Jesus. And I jumped out of the boat, and I went to him. We pulled so many fish in, and he pulled us, and I thought, I'm going to be for it now. He's going to really lay into me for letting him down. He's really going to say, Peter, why did you do that? Why did you let me? He didn't. We went for a little walk together, and he said, Peter, do you love me? Oh, Lord, do you know? You know I love you. Peter, do you love me? Oh, Lord, do you know? 
Peter, oh Lord, why three? I denied him three times. He's asking me three times, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And you know, Jesus encouraged me to go on. And I became one of the main orchestrators, if that's the right word, of preaching and telling other people about Jesus because the difference he'd made in my life. Yes, I'd been a failure. Yes, I'd let him down. But, you know, he encouraged me to go on. And even though I ended up in prison sometimes, <laughs> even though people were abusive to me, I loved Jesus so much that I wanted to tell other people about him. And sometimes I think about that time when I got out of the boat and walked on the water to him. And he reached out, he reached out and he saved me. And we might not be in that boat, but we're in a world. And Jesus knows us and loves us and cares for us. And he asks us the question, will you put your faith and trust in me? Because I love you. I care for you. I'm preparing a place for you. And we're going to sing a song now that Paul's going to come and play for. And it's called, with Jesus.